Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector action in Power Automate. This connector action will convert your legacy Word docs, meaning those in Doc 1997 to 2003 format, into modern DocX format. DocX format offers a long list of advantages over legacy doc format, including the obvious fact that it allows you to access dozens of useful modern MS Word features which weren't around when legacy docs took center stage. In addition to that, DocX format is also much smaller and easier to open and a lot easier to repair when the document is damaged. For this video, I'll quickly demonstrate how to use this connector by converting a sample legacy doc to DocX in a simple instant cloud flow. However, if you have dozens of legacy doc files tucked away in a folder somewhere, you can also easily create an automated flow targeting that specific folder and convert all your files back to back to back. To begin, I'm clicking Create and selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. After giving my flow a relevant name and selecting the option to trigger it manually, I'm then clicking Create once again and heading to the Flow Diagram page. My first step here is to grab my sample file, so I'm setting up an initial Get File Content action via the SharePoint connector. After selecting my site address, I'm using the file picker to quickly find my demo file and allowing the file ID to populate. With my file ready to go, I can now involve the doc to docx conversion step. First, I'm clicking New Step and typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. Then, I'm selecting the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector with the lime green logo from the list of options below. Clicking on this connector brings me to the Connector Actions list, and from here, I just need to search for the doc 97-03 docx conversion action and click on it when I find it. As a quick aside, if this is the first time you're using a Cloudmersive connector, you'll run into a step here where you need to provide a Cloudmersive API key and name your connection. Even though it says it's premium, you can actually use this for free, you'll just need to register a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. Free tier accounts provide a limit of 800 API calls per month, and they don't incur any penalties or costs once you reach that limit, you'll just have to wait for the total to reset the following month. When it comes to configuring this connector's parameters, my job is super easy, all I have to do is satisfy two fields. I just need to grab my legacy doc content through the dynamic content window, like so, and then copy and paste my file's name into the second parameter. Once that's done, I'm ready to test the connector by itself. However, I'm first going to add an additional create file step so I can show that the new file encoding works exactly as intended. For the create file step, I'm speeding through a basic create file action via the SharePoint connector, which really comes down to picking a new location for my file and giving the file a new name. At the end here, I'm using the dynamic content window once again to supply the create file action with the new docx file encoding that the Cloudmersive connector created. At this point, I'm ready to run my test, so after saving my work, I'm clicking test in the upper right corner and checking all the required boxes before ultimately running my flow. This part could take a few seconds or more, but as long as your file was valid, it should work smoothly and say flow ran successfully at the top of the page. Now that mine is done, I'm quickly jumping over to my new files folder and verifying that the file opens and works as intended. As you can see, it opens and works just as I want it to, and the content in there remains the same as the original document, only now with access to brand new DocX features and state-of-the-art zip compression. With the demo complete, we've reached the end of this video. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and feel free to check out dozens of additional Cloudmersive connector demos on our channel.